Right now, it is the hottest month of the year, and you may have already gone through and worn all of your summer wardrobe. Yeah, we already had our heat wave. Yeah, right? we did. This morning, we've got some easy fashion tips to beat the heat and to stay stylish as well. We have uh, Lindsay Framing with us this morning with Fashion Fix MN. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, ladies. Are you surviving the hottest month of the year so far? <laughs> yeah, you know what? I, I think we have. It's not as humid as it was, what? When we had that stretch in June, that was kind of crazy. Right. I do regret wearing this jacket today. It's yeah. been a little, a little warmer than I thought. But luckily, you have some great ideas, some things yeah. we can kind of swap out. What you got for us? Yeah, because you're right. We did have that really big heat wave in June already, where it was really hot and humid. So I'm sure a lot of us feel like we've worn through our summer wardrobe already. Like we've exhausted yep. all of our options to stay dressed and stay cool in the heat and still feel put together and styled for today. So. We're going to talk about just a couple tips of what you can swap out in your summer wardrobe to just freshen up your look a little bit. Yeah, and sometimes it's just thinking differently, looking at your closet with just kind of a fresh eye. Uh, and first up, you say dresses. And I love this because it's not like fancy dresses, this dresses to keep you cool. Yeah. Exactly. Summer knit dresses are a go to for me. I mean, I have two toddlers at home still, so I'm like running around after them at the park or playing in the backyard. So dresses are really functional for me to stay cool, but still be able to do what I need to do. But instead of feeling, again, kind of maybe frumpy or feeling too plain in them, some easy things to do is swap out your flip-flops for a cute pair of sandals. So instead of, you know, those 99-cent Old Navy flip-flops in every color, <laughs> you know, maybe get a cute pair of slides or something that has a little bit more detail, detail to it and add some accessories, too. So a long necklace is always great on a knit dress because it kind of breaks it up a little bit and adds just a little bit of personality. I also love this new trend, or at least new to me, uh, Lindsay, of sneakers with dresses. Yes, I am so, here for this. <laughs> yeah, fashion sneakers are, I have a pair in my wardrobe and I always say they were like the best things that I invented <laughs> in because they're so comfortable and they like can still make any outfit look cute. And again, I don't feel kind of frumpy or undone. So you can definitely do your sneakers with dresses too, just as long as you don't get too hot in them. Yeah, right. Uh, how about shorts and capris? I, I know I don't think I have any capris in my wardrobe right now, but I have a few pair of shorts. One pair that I've had for a embarrassingly long amount of time, <laughs> and I still wear those. <laughs> I think a lot of us are in that same boat. So typically when we think of shorts and t-shirt, like we kind of just stop there, like a really plain basic t-shirt. Again, maybe something that's been in our wardrobe for a really long time. So it's a little bit overworn or a little bit outdated. So instead of wearing kind of those old t-shirts, maybe swap it out for something that has a little bit of pattern, that has a little bit of print to it, that adds a little sporty to your look. Um, you can even do something that has details like a front tie or some cuffed sleeves or something like that, rather than just being basic or plain, which is typically a go-to for us on this kind of everyday casual look. And this would be another great outfit to slip those fashion sneakers on with too. Sure, yes. jazz it up a little bit. Uh, obviously, lots of folks, especially with the heat, trying to beat the heat by going to the pool, going to the beach, whatever you're doing. Uh, you have some tips on how to dress up your swimwear a little bit. We're not like resort wear in the Bahamas, right. but this is <laughs> here for, you know, Right. I don't know. Like it a is, aquatic I mean, center. <laughs> yeah. Totally. Like it is not hard to find a beach to go to here in Minnesota. That is for sure. So I know a lot of us are spending time waterside. So again, we kind of go to things that we've had in our closet for a long time that again maybe feel outdated or overworn. So that's our swim cover ups. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they're kind of just like old t shirts or an old pair of like gym shorts or, you know, something that's really kind of overworn. Maybe swap that out for an open woven wrap or maybe wear one of your cute knit dresses that you wear in the summertime as a swim cover up. Again, this that is something that feels like you've had in your closet forever and it might be a little bit outdated. Another thing I love wearing to the beach or to the pool is a straw hat. It's an easy accessory to throw on that not only is fashionable, but is functional too, because it protects you from those UV rays. Mm -hmm. So this is a great way to kind of spruce up your poolside look, or again, when you're going to the beach or even up to the cabin or on a boat this month, it's a great accessory to have. And this may make me dirty, but it also helps and hides the fact if you, you know, you get a little sweaty and going. your hair is kind of yeah. gross and maybe you didn't shower. It's like, oh, oh look, yeah. she, she looks put together. Good chair. Yes, exactly. And that's what all of these tips are going to do in swapping these things out because these outfits are everyday looks that you're already wearing. Mm -hmm. And most likely, these pieces that we're going to add in or trade out in these looks are things you already have in your wardrobe. And if you don't have them, they're not expenses to find at Target or at Old Navy or really easy, accessible stores to shop. Okay, finally, a good question too, and I, uh, I'm curious your answer on this because we haven't been doing a lot of shopping like <laughs> out and about anymore. Where are your favorite spots to hit for summer clothes? 
So I've been doing a lot of online shopping mm -hmm. myself uh, this summer, and I'm really loving finding cute kind of fashionable pieces from Nordstrom Rack. It's much easier to navigate their inventory when you can filter and edit things down to exactly what you're looking for. Target is always one of my favorites for those basics, like an updated pair of jean shorts or finding an updated knit, again, that has some pattern or some color or some print on it. And Old Navy always has a great selection of knit summer dresses. They do. True. Flowy. Yeah. And we don't need any body con. Uh, you know, I don't want anything uh, touching in the summer. Me. Nope. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Outside. All right, Lindsay, Not thanks so much. Great year. stuff. We really appreciate it. For more style tips from Lindsay, head to our website, fashionfixmn.com.